she she uh, Laura sent an email. Turn it off, Miriam. To the color printer. No. All right, let me do it again. <laughs> Let me see. We are live. She, she uh, Laura sent me. It's ten thirty. Are we ready, everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Jane, Deputy Mayor. Would you like to welcome everyone, please? Definitely, definitely. It's a, it's a privilege. Welcome everyone to our uh, virtual job fair. This is an exciting time for us. There's so many opportunities out there. We wanted our residents to be informed and let them know about the jobs that are out there. I know that many of you may be having some uh, issues regarding um, the uh, co coronavirus situation. You're, you're looking for jobs. Well, they are here, and we're very proud to have E-Ray as one of our manufacturing companies right here in the city of Pontiac. And one of the things that they'll be doing this morning is talking to you about some of those jobs and how you can apply for them. So thank you, E-Ray, e for, for being part of our, of our community and for doing this uh, to help our residents out there. So welcome to E-Ray as well, and thank you all for, for being part of this uh, job fair. Thank you all. I'll turn it back to Hi, again, and good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Lynette Phillips. I am the um, Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor. <laughs> Director of Economic <laughs> Development for the City of Pontiac, and that was our Deputy Mayor, Miss Jane <laughs> um, Bay DeSessa, that um, welcomed us today. We really are so excited to have our yeah. team here today to talk about job opportunities with, with E-Ray, which is located right here in Pontiac, on um, in the um, center point, um, on, in center point, which is right off of, um, well, off center point parkway. Um, so today we have with us, Ms. Laura Petz, who is a human resource manager. We have um, Camille Simpson also from E-Ray. We have Chanel Shelby from Michigan Works, <clears throat> excuse me. And we have Miriam Cox from our um, city of Pontiac team and Kira Davidson, also our human resource director, and, and a host of other participants who are job seekers as well. We have um, Deborah Araman uh, here also. And, and also we have the opportunity or the privilege to translate in Spanish. So um, if anyone is um, here that's attending, if you could raise your hand or let us know that um, you prefer communication in, in Espanol, in Spanish, then we'll be happy to provide that. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Laura and to, um, and to Camille, who will actually talk about their, their organization, their company, and the jobs and the opportunities that they have. Thank you. Hello, thank you for the introduction. So I am Laura Petz, the HR manager for E-Ray. And I just want to give a brief introduction. You might want to turn the mic uh, in January of 2019, eBay rooted as a newly established company in the Pontiac area, and we are projecting to be Pontiac's next large automotive manufacturer. We are a tier one global supplier that assembles half shafts for Chrysler and Volkswagen. We have three shifts. Uh, two are currently running at the moment due to COVID-19. We scaled back a little bit, but we are gonna have our third shift up and running in October. And unlike some manufacturers, not only do we have a clean and safe work environment, it is also a comfortable work environment since it's climate controlled, which is very unique in manufacturing. Um, this is a great opportunity for employees to join our team due to growth advancement opportunities uh, because we are um, currently taking on new um, projects and estimate to onboard over 100 more people within the next uh, six months. So 
Currently, we have openings in assembly, hilo, and supervision um, positions at the moment. We have over 160 employees, and um, I'm going to kind of turn it over to Camille now so she can review some of those OJOB openings. Thank you, Laura. Okay, so again, um, we do have several positions that are open. Um, mainly our machine operator positions are first and second shift, and those are uh, one of our biggest needs right now. Um, so with that being said, our first shift starts from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and that is going to start at a range of $11 to $13, including our incentives. You do have the opportunity to, uh, excuse me, to make um, up to $16 an hour per incentive uh, that you have on the floor. Um, so essentially our machine operator positions, you are inspecting parts and components. Um, you're feeding raw material into the machinery and assembling half shafts uh, for our, Chry our Chrysler and Volkswagen clients. One of our other positions that we are currently looking for as well are high-low drivers, and that will be for our third shift. Um, but you must have the flexibility to train on first and second shift until we launch our third shift officially. Um, what's gonna happen there? You're gonna operate the warehouse equipment, such as sit down or stand up forklifts and take care of our products through proper handling and storage and just ensuring that the lines have all of the product that they need to uh, continue their assembly. We are also looking for repackers. Um, this is a position that requires a lot of bending. So you should uh, have that, that flexibility to bend consistently throughout the day. Um, you are repacking product from one pallet to another, general trash removal, uh, discard, from tra uh, discard of trash from the warehouse and breaking down cardboard pallets and stacks for compactors. Our last position that we are looking for are for second shift quality inspectors. Um, these individuals must be able to stand for a minimum of eight hours. Of course, you will have intermittent breaks. Um, read and understand documented work instructions, standard operating procedures and st statistical specifications. Um, attention to detail is a must with this position because we are inspecting our parts and ensuring that they reach the client um, to their standards. Um, so with that being said, I can turn it back over to uh, Lynette um, to go forward. Thank you, Laura and, and Camille. So the next step in this process is um, you may need some assistance with um, your resume or some training or something like that. And so we have with us our Michigan Works, our local Michigan Works office, um, which uh, is Chanel Shelby, and she will go into detail in terms of the services that their office provides. Chanel? Thank you, Lynette, and thank you again for inviting us to this wonderful event. Um, I'm currently um, located at the Oakland County Mission Works Pontiac location in Perry Street, 1850 North Perry. Um, we're here to assist with all of your job search needs. So if you need resume assistance, um, someone to critique your resume, to help you um, get those keywords that you need to apply for the open positions at E-Ray, we can help with that. If you haven't interviewed in a while, and you want to do a mock interview, we can assist that assist with that skill as well. Um, due to COVID right now, all of our workshops are virtual. So if you want to sign up for one, it's totally free. Um, you can call the center at 248-276-1777 and we'll get you signed up for the next um, workshop. If you need to work one-on-one -on -one with the case manager to get assistance and training, for example, if you wanted to, you know, apply for a high low position and um, you wanted assistance for on the job training or to get an apprenticeship, we have those opportunities for you to work with um, employers like Eray as well. Um, just call the center and sign up for our orientation or to make an appointment to meet um, with one on one with the counselor. Um, and I can turn it over to. 
So, uh, Chanel, can you repeat that number again? And, and can also, can people email or, or is there another form of contact? Number at the center is 248-276-1777. And everyone can email me directly if they like. It's my first name, Chanel, S-H-A-N-E-L-L -L dot Shelby. S H E L B Y at goodwilldetroit.org. Okay. Thank you. I look forward to helping everyone. Thank you, Lynette. So one thing that we're we will do going forward, we'll make sure that that information is available. Um, I think I'll even put it in the chat so that um, everyone has that information as as well. Um, Right now, I, I guess I'm wondering, um, are there any questions? Um, and then we can you know, proceed with what's the process in terms of how will people go about applying for positions? So I'm gonna turn that back over to Camille and to Laura and they can go into detail you know, now, what are the, what are, what's the process and what are the next steps? And I'm sure people will want to know, you know, like how long, you know, they'll hear from, before they hear from someone and, and those types of um, questions. Um, absolutely. So um, I do not. Um, so the way that you can apply or most of our candidates can apply are through our partnering uh, contracting agencies. And we have several of those. So it would just be up to the candidate to find the one nearest them. Um, the first one is uh, going to be in tech staffing, and they're located at 1800 Crooks Road, Suite 101 in Troy, Michigan. Um, the recruiter there is going to be Lise Voulage, and I can provide her phone number as well. You can reach her at 248-528-1444, and simply just advise that you were referred by um, E-Ray AMS virtual, virtual Job Fair. The second uh, staffing agency that we work with is Nesco Resources, and they're located at 2043 North Opdyke Road in Auburn Hills, Michigan. The recruiter there you can ask for is Danielle Donnelly. Her phone number is 248-481-3902. And the same thing, just advise you were uh, sent by E-Ray AMS's virtual job fair. Our last agency that we are currently partnering with is Express Staffing, and they're located at 3080 or 3080 Orchard Lake Road, and they are located in Kego Harbor, or, yeah, Kego Harbor, Michigan, and they're Suite A, actually, I'm sorry. Um, the recruiters there are Mercedes Knight and Elodie Chidiak. Their phone numbers are 248-682. 6500. Um, we also have a personal email here at ERA AMS, and that number is, or I'm sorry, that email is going to be hr.pontiac at erayams.com. We also have a direct office line that candidates can reach us at, and that will be phone number 248 212 0655. Thank you. So Camille, you gave quite a few phone numbers and contact information. Can you provide that information in the um, chat? Yes, so I do have that. Uh, the staffing agencies are already in the chat. I will go ahead and provide the HR email and our direct office line. Um, so, Again, in terms of just the time frame, once once a person, I mean, if I'm interested in a position and I'm and I apply today, how soon might I hear from someone or or what? And you know, yeah. So typically, when they reach out or the candidate reaches out to the agency, um, they would reach out to them either that same day or the following day to get them prepared for our orientations that we have every Tuesday um, at 10 a.m. So the turnaround time to hear back from a recruiter would be fairly, fairly fast. And can you also just talk about in terms of like criteria, um, will there be any drug testing? Will there be background check? Um, are, are you, you know, um, 
ex offender friendly? Yes. So uh, veterans. Yes. So we are. Um, we do require a background uh, check in the drug screen. Um, however, we are not felony friendly. We do require that um, you do not have any violent felony offenses or anything violent on your criminal uh, background record. Um, however, you know, if you have certain traffic violations or, you know, things like that in your background, um, we would simply, you know, kind of bring that as a case review to upper management and allow them to make that decision at that point in time. So that's more or less on a case by case basis. Well, what about credit? What if my credit score is really not that great? Does that matter? And especially if I had a job, I'll have an opportunity to improve that. No, actually we do not consider um, or you know, credit checks against any uh, candidates who apply. So bad credit, you know, you could, you could essentially come in and still work for EWA. We do not consider credit as a uh, criteria. And then I, I, one other question with regard to citizenship, if I um, perhaps, you know, I maybe not be U.S. born, but what if I have a, you know, some kind of documentation or certification to work in the United States? Absolutely. So we are a very diverse company. Um, we, you know, work with everyone you do. Um, we do require that you have um, proper document, excuse me, proper documentation to work here. Um, but again, we are a very diverse company. And if I may add to that, this is Deborah Ehrman uh, from Central Multicultural. Uh, we are uh, a agency, is a multicultural agency, provide a lot of array of services. And uh, Lynette was very kind to share the information with me on Wednesday. Uh, we are involved with a COVID-19 uh, response, which is we're asking uh, about 1,500 families are in contact with us for food, and it would be a great opportunity to give those flyers out properly to them in their boxes, because I know there are families out that they either have lost their jobs or will not be returning to their jobs. That would be a great opportunity. In that uh, array of numbers, we also have about 270 families, household families that are Hispanic, that are from all over the world, from South America, Latin America, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Europe, uh, that could also benefit from your information and we could get that out. If I can get a flyer, tomorrow we are dispersing the boxes. And if we got a flyer, then we would uh, be able to put it in the boxes and have families contact uh, the protocol that you want for them to call you. Deborah, would you like that flyer in Spanish or the flyer that um, I, I could use it in Spanish if you have it. Uh, if if you don't have it in Spanish, we can help you with that. But we okay, would need we a template. Don't have it in yeah, okay. we need we needed a template in order to put the information on it so it would mirror the one you have already. Sure. I, I just wanted to add a little bit to that also for those of you that need assistance uh, in translating, especially to the Spanish language, if you need assistance with that, a Centro Multicultural can also help you with that as well. So uh, don't hesitate to, to contact Centro Multicultural. Deborah, can you give that number one more time again, please? Sure, sure. Our phone number is area code 248-858-7800. Our office, like most of us, are working remotely, but we do have our receptionist who is answering all the calls that come in and they will direct it to the person that need to, to contact that individual. So if you call us, we will connect you to the right person in our agency. And if you are fully bilingual and have little uh, English, we will also help you. We do have classes too, to help families uh, become proficient in English in the evening. Very good. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. Yeah, Deborah, I'm gonna add your number in, um, in, in the chat room as well. Excuse me, um, um, can you please repeat the number again? For which number? The central number? Yes. Okay, it's 248-858-7800. And that's for the assistance with translations. If you're applying for the job, you'll probably need to go through the process that they're explaining in regards to the agency who is providing the job through like Michigan Works to help you with the resume. We can help you with other things besides the resume. 
Deborah, just to be clear, the number is 248-85870, I mean, 7800. No. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I just put it in the chat. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to provide um, a resource to your question, Lynette, regarding individuals who may have bad credit or need some financial um, coaching. There is a free program um, that we partner with, with um, OSA um, back in July, where we offer free financial coaching for all of Oakland County residents, where you work one-on-one -on -one with the financial coach to help you get out of your issue. Um, it could be mm -hmm. something where you kind of mismanage your money during COVID, um, you're on unemployment, you're going back full time. It's case based on each individual um, issue. So I don't want anyone to think that it's just going to be automatic credit repair. It could be that you want to save, you want to relearn how to redo your budget for your family, etc. So that is a free resource. So if anyone is interested in receiving that um, free financial coaching, again, you can contact me um, directly at the center and I'll get you registered um, and signed up to meet with the financial coach with also. That is great information and another wonderful resource to have. So thank you very much for that. Um, also, um, I'm going to turn it over to Miriam, who will talk about our city of Pontiac, um, uh, our uh, jobs pipeline. Unmute, Miriam. Sorry thank about you. that. Um, the Pontiac Jobs Pipeline is on our website and you can go to www city of Pontiac and bring up our jobs pipeline. And it has vendors with different that have different companies offering different positions. We also have a spot for training and for um, internships. Uh, if you have a hotline and you want to call the number here is 248. 758 jobs, or if you want it, um, 248-758-5727. And we'll be glad to assist you and um, direct you and provide any assistance or numbers that you may have missed today. For that. Thank you, Miriam. I'm going to put that number in, in the chat room as well, um, the jobs hotline number. Um, are there any other questions? Is there something that we, um, oh, Ken put it in there, that we didn't provide that someone would like to know about or that we can offer um, information? No, thank you. Thank you, Lynette. I think there's been a lot of good questions asked and I'm hoping that our residents will take uh, this opportunity to uh, to contact E-Ray for all these um, outstanding jobs that are available. There's their starting pay uh, is very good and also to Michigan Works to provide them with assistance with their resumes and any other information that they may need, getting them ready for the interview itself. I think that's amazing. So please, uh, Pontiac residents, uh, go to uh, to entities, and there are some opportunities out there. So please uh, don't hesitate to contact them. This um, say something, this in virtual... Lynette. Just to, I'll, I'll be very brief. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Perdón, porque no estoy lista para hablar con todos ustedes en español. So la que la información que le voy a dar. Ojalá Debra, hijito, tu ayuda, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> La información que les voy a dar, nomás es explicarle que si hay posiciones ahorita en Pontiac, si necesita uh, empleo. So, la, que la compañía que se llama E-Ray Manufacturing tiene posiciones para uh, inspectores, para operadores y para gente que puede manejar un, uh, uh, una, una troca o una, ¿cómo se dice? Un, nomás lo sé en, en inglés, un, uh, un viejo. So, la que por favor están pagando a uh, 13 a uh, 16 a la hora y puede, con, puede contactar a E-Ray para llamando el número 248-212-00655. Otra vez, el número para, contar e -Ray, para contactar E-Ray es 248-212-0655. Y luego también, si necesitan ayuda para el empleo, pueden llamar a Michigan Works. Ellos también les pueden ayudar a buscar un trabajo y les también les pueden ayudar 
recibir uh, asistencia sin cita para empleo. Y para contactar a ellos, por favor, llámenle a 248-276-1777. Otra vez, el número para contar, para contactar Michigan Works es 248-276-1777. Siete, siete. Y le voy, a, le voy a dar la información ahorita para, para Deborah para que les, les explique en español si necesitan que contactar a, al Centro Multicultural. Deborah, por favor, puedes decir un poquito en español uh, uh -huh. cómo se puede contactar al, al, al Centro Multicultural. Buenos días y gracias por la tendencia. Y gracias a Jane por siempre apoyando a nuestra comunidad. Es un gran placer trabajar contigo. El gracias. Centro Multicultural estamos aquí para servirle, para ayudarle. El teléfono de nosotros es el 248-858-7800. Repito, 248-858-7800. Estamos disponibles de las 9 hasta las 5 de la tarde y los viernes hasta las 3 de la tarde. Por favor, si tenga una duda, una pregunta, por favor, háblanos. Eh, me pueden comunicar directamente conmigo. Todavía el equipo no sabe de todos los servicios que ustedes ofrecen pero vamos a, a tener esta información para que le podemos ayudar. Repito, 248-858-7800. Pueden preguntar por la señora Debra. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias, Debra. Muchas gracias. I promise we didn't say anything bad. <laughs> no, muchas gracias. You know, we've had some other people um, join and um, Uh, Laura and Camille, I wonder if you really want to just, if you could repeat the jobs again and um, just that offer would be great. And, and do mention that these are uh, positions that are between $13 and $16 an hour with benefits and that information. Yes, sure. I can, I can definitely go ahead and, and kind of touch base back on those positions again. Um, so again, the, the main position that we are sourcing for now are our machine operators for both first and second shift. Now, eventually we will launch a third shift, but that will be maybe another month or so from now. Um, but for now, we do have our machine operators positions for first and second shift, which is first, uh, first shift is 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And our second shift, excuse me, is going to be from 4 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. Um, Again, the machine operators are simply inspecting, yes, inspecting parts and components um, as quality criteria, feeding raw material into machinery, assembling products per work instruction, um, and operating machinery to assist in the production area. There are other uh, processes that that's inclusive in the machine operating position, um, but we will train once you uh, arrive here. Um, the same thing with our second shift. You are mainly handling, I'm sorry, I didn't say that in the beginning, you're mainly assembling half shafts. So these parts are anywhere from, you know, five pounds to 20 pounds max. So you should be able to consistently lift um, 20 pounds and, and be able to bend with no issues. Our second position that we are looking for is a third shift high low driver. So again, we are kind of just ramping up in advance to get some of our um, employees for third shift ready to go. However, this person must be able to train on first and second shift until we launch our third shift, um, our third shift officially. We do have two repacker positions for second shift. Again, that shift is ranging at 4 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. And this is simply repacking product from one pallet to another, uh, discarding trash, breaking down cardboard pallets, um, disposing plastic and wood into a waste dumpster, dumpster and making sure that they are efficiently uh, packed into the compactor. Another position that we are currently looking for are, is our second shift quality control inspectors. These individuals must be able to stand for a minimum of eight hours, read and understand documented work instructions, standard operating procedures, and statistical specification, measure the product with uh, specific hand tools, so uh, gauges and, and things like that. You must be able to uh, efficiently, efficiently be able to um, inspect the product and have a great deal of detail. 
um, as these are the products that we are sending out to our client. Um, lastly, I don't believe I did mention, we are um, sourcing for a shift supervisor. So this individual, um, again, must have excellent communication, uh, great managing skills, um, able to, you know, have uh, in, actually interact with their team, uh, great, a great motivator and things like that. So we, this position, the shift, I'm not quite sure which shift this individual would be on, but they should be open to first, second or third shift. Um, we are not currently specifying a designated shift for this individual. Again, they must be flexible to working on either shift. Thank you, Camille. Um, thank you for that information. Um, you know, this this virtual job fair is um, being recorded. Uh, it's being recorded. It will. Um, it's on Facebook Live, which means that even after this time, someone can go back and um, garner all the information, and you know, even you know, take advantage and and respond or apply to the positions. Um, I'm, let me, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can provide. Um, I was looking in the chat to see if there's any questions as well. Um, I do have a question um, to our IT person that will the questions and the information be available from the chat onto um, our website. Uh, Ken, um, could you answer that question or Phil? I, I, I did uh, put some of the comments into the, uh, that was in the group chat, into the comment section of the Facebook post. So a lot of the um, staffing and contact information um, is, is there. Um, if you would like, um, we can add that information to the jobs pipeline page. I, I think that would, that would be helpful if, if people knew how to, um, you know, have that additional information, including Deborah's information on the, the central, you know, La Familia, um, you know, that um, we can provide information, you know, translated in Spanish. If you would be so kind to find uh, the template uh, to send it to me, I, I did provide my email address. That way we can put it, translate it, and get it out right away. So we can, uh, if someone hey. can print it for me, we need it's about two. We have about 270 uh, families that could apply or not apply, but at least look at the uh, flyer. It may have someone in their family that could qualify. So it's important that we get out there. And I would recommend that we start producing more copies for the 1500 families that are with the COVID response because you're gonna get somebody that's out of work that can also apply. Thank you, Deborah. Um, Alan Shorter, did, were you, did, did you have a question? I, I, I thought you unmuted. I do see someone, um, I believe that was Ken saying that someone wanted us to repeat the second talent recruiter. Um, so I'll just touch on that really quick. That that recruiter is going to be Nesco Resources and they're located at 2043 North Opdyke Road, Auburn Hills, Michigan. And the recruiter there is Danielle Donnelly at 248. 481-3902. Again, that phone number is 248-481-3902. And Camille, can you add that information into the chat? Yes, it, it is currently there. Um, at oh, the okay. Great. I have a follow-up question. One of the, um, this is presented as a career opportunity, and I know there's a a ton of growth opportunity with E-Ray right now. Would you please go on to detail some of the benefits that you're offering your full-time staff members? Um, so yeah, so right now, because we mainly deal with uh, contracting agencies uh, to bring in our employees, they would currently get their benefits through the staffing agency, however, we do offer incentives here for our contracted employees um, while they're on the job, just due to the, the difficult time frame that everyone's working in. So again, we do offer a $2 incentive on top of um, their base pay 
Um, we also offer a throughput incentive. So if they are hitting their numbers um, on the lines daily, they would have the option to receive a minimum of $25 per day in their paycheck up to um, $40 per paycheck in their, uh, or per pay, I'm sorry, per day. Um, we also have a referral program. If they're referring individuals, friends, family, um, we do offer a referral incentive. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, in attendance. I'm sorry. Laura was remi reminding me of the attendance incentive as well. Um, so we do offer incentives for the attendance, uh, for perfect attendance as well. So we do have a variety of different ways that you can make, you know, uh, make more money day to day. Yep, and she also reminded me that, I'm sorry, that there is uh, the intention is temp to perm, permanent uh, higher end after six months of employment here. So, you know, this is not a temp position, of course, pending uh, attendance, pending your performance and things like that. We definitely will, you know, bring you on board after your six months, uh, six month contract or trial run is up. Thank you for that. And just for clarification purposes, the shift supervisor position, is that um, a temp to perm position as well? Yes. Thank you. And, and Chanel, and before we wrap this up, um, could you just go over your um, services that you would provide at Michigan Works again for the people that recently joined? Yes, thank you. Um, like I said, at Michigan Works, we offer um, a variety of services for free to help you gain employment. Um, currently, we're doing virtual job fairs for resume assistance, interview assistance, um, you know, how to help about, get a job through social media, through LinkedIn. Um, if you're interested in any of those services, you can just call the center. We'll get you scheduled um, for any of our free workshops. Um, we can also help with on-the-job training opportunities, re getting you retrained. If you need a skill upgrade, if you lost your job to due to COVID, we can assist with that. We can provide mock interviews. And we also go a step further and help um, remove any of barriers that may be preventing you from gaining employment. So once you get enrolled into our program, if you need you know, support services like gas car assistance, um, interview clothing for clothing assistance to make sure not only that you know, you're mentally prepared through the soft skills, but you also look the part and that you're ready to get the job. Um, so if you're interested in any of those services, or if you need free financial coaching, you can just call the center at 248-276-1777, or you can email me at chanel.shelby at goodwilldetroit.org. You have bilingual staff now? Uh, I'm sorry, what would you say? Do you have bilingual staff? So if someone calls in that doesn't speak English or maybe another language, yeah, okay. we have a translation line that we use, CSL, that helps us um, with um, individuals that have um, different languages that need interpretation. Okay, thank you. Yes. Well, one of the questions um, is, um, is there any means of transportation? Chanel, I don't know if Michigan Works, um, you know, provides like um, bus passes or um, gas cards or, you know, assistance, or if we could even help with some kind of pick up and drop off sites for people for the, um, you know, for the shift times and that, and, and for the shift times that may really, um, you know, coincide you know, with um, E-Ray as well. We do offer transportation assistance, such as gas cards, bus tickets, um, even lift um, cars, depending on where the location is, because, you know, the buses are limited, so they don't always go everywhere. But we do offer those assistance. You just have to be enrolled in our program. So um, when you call the center, we'll take you through that orientation process so that we can get you those assistance. Because our goal is for you to get the job and maintain it. So we're going to help with all those barriers that you may have that may be preventing you to actually get to work. So now that is excellent information and a great resource. So again, if, if someone needs assistance with transportation, even if it's to an interview and uh, uh, for sure once they have a, their position so that, you know, the retention rate continues, how do they go about, you know, get acquiring this resource? Um, you can just call the center um, and we could get you signed up 
to attend the orientation and start working one on one with the case manager virtually. So, um, you know, right now, due to COVID, we have limited access to the building. So we're doing everything virtually. If you don't have access to a computer, that's okay. We'll talk you through the steps over the phone. So please do not get discouraged. Just give us a call. Um, we are at the same location, but there's new leadership um, at the center. So please give us an opportunity. And like I said, give us a call at 248-276-1777. My name is Chanel. I'm the director. You can ask me specifically, and I will get you in contact with one of our case managers or program managers to assist you immediately. Great, great. Thank you. Deborah, do you want to add anything to that? I mean, the fact that nope. transportation is yeah, transportation is an issue for our families. Uh, as you well know, many of the mothers do not drive. I've already uh, put in some thoughts into what we want to say with the, um, the family. We do have a radio show that we do, and we probably will start announcing the uh, opportunities for families. Uh, so it's, it's good to, to have this information. If, Like I said, if you can get that flyer to me or the template, we can translate it because yes. on Saturday, we're going to be at Carnival Market and they have about a thousand people in and out of that store within the eight to 10 hour day. So by putting the flyers, I know Lynette put some out there already, but it's good to have it in Spanish because some of the families do qualify. They do have proper identification, proper permission, who are also citizens. Not everyone here is undocumented. So we would want to encourage families that are currently out of work that could apply as well as we have a lot of American families that come through the uh, market, excuse me, through uh, Carnival Market for lunch, and we can get that information to them. So that would be great. So um, if someone can produce those documents, because I can't do all, all those, but I can do some. Deborah, I will get the flyer to you um, momentarily in just a few minutes. And I, I, unless there's more questions, I think that we could just wrap up again, just to reiterate that um, this has been a virtual job fair for E-Ray, um, which is located at um, 2011 Central um, um, Center Park Center Point Parkway, right here in Pontiac, they have various jobs ranging from 11 to 16 dollars an hour, and I do think that they actually start at 13 dollars an hour. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so jobs that starting from 13 to 16 dollars an hour, that there are opportunities for um, um, operators. High low drivers, uh, we do have a, a shift supervisor position, um, repackers and uh, quality inspectors. There's opportunity for advancements, you know, once you become hired, uh, Michigan Works offers services for, you know, assisting with your resume. They actually, I mean, to provide transportation is really awesome. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have the flyer translated in Spanish. Uh, Deborah Ehrman is, has a huge network that she'd like to share this information to. These, these are jobs that are available right now with benefits. And um, we provided you know, information. Again, it's, it's gonna be, it's on the City of Pontiac website. Um, it's on Facebook Live. So you can share this information with um, your family, friends, anyone that you know that may be you know, in the market you know, seeking employment. And um, we're just pleased and proud, you know, to have this partnership with E-Ray and our, and our team here as well. Um, I'm gonna check the questions in the chat one more time. Someone's just saying, thank you for the great opportunities. So we're pleased with that. If, um, yeah, does anyone just, have I anything just, uh, to add, Jane? No, I just, want, I just wanted to, um, of course, I just wanted to add uh, that on behalf of the city of Pontiac and, and Mayor Waterman, thank you all for joining us. And thank you to e -Roy, e -Ray for, for for your great company. And uh, please um, let us know if we can be of any further assistance. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And thank you, Deborah. Thank you for your help. No well. problem. No problem. Thank you. Always a pleasure to serve. Yes. And of course, I, I, I would be, I'd be wrong if I didn't mention Michigan Works as well. You guys yeah. have done Absolutely. Yes. for us. And, uh, and People, please uh, go to these two entities. They're here to help you. We're here to help. And again, uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this morning. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day, folks. Have a great day. Thank you. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Buenos dias. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.